Please, I'll repay you, I promise. Mmm, naked road trip. Howdy viewers, Brad Prider, Barstool Entertainment, doing another GTA 5 video. Now there are random encounters and any character can do them. This one happens to be a little more fun with Trevor because of his comments. And you're driving along, some guy, help, 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 and he's in panties with stuff written on his body, tied to a post, and he has, well, some issues, but one of them is he's got to get to a wedding, his wedding, and Trevor helping him out is a lot more fun than Franklin or Michael. I've done this multiple times, and this random encounter actually has a name. Stag do running man. So let's get on with this funny mission. Get this off me! Come on! Don't leave me here! Don't be an asshole! Thank God. I'm in so much trouble. Can you give me a ride? Please. I'll repay you, I promise. Mmm, naked road trip. I'm in. This is such a disaster. I'm supposed to be getting married. I need to get my suit from home, pick up the car, then trek down. After I pick him up, I decide to check to see if I can deliver him to the altruists. And nope, no altruist logo. Some random events you can't deliver to the altruists. And to be honest with you, I was doing this mission after I was out looking for another victim. And I did it in the altruist video. If you want to watch that, go ahead. Now I got to deliver this guy to his house so that he can get on to his wedding. And the conversation is funny, so I'm going to let things roll through. Well, I stopped because I got a soft spot for a man in panties. A few cars went by, but nobody stopped. Nobody would help. They would just slow down, roll down the window, laugh and point, take photos, and then speed off. I was on my bachelor party. Mm, that part I got. It's the stripped and tied to a post in the middle of nowhere bit. That's what I'm interested in. <laughs> Come on. I want sort of details. Dude, I have no recollection. It was supposed to be a few quiet drinks, you know? Then the absinthe came out. Then the coke came out. At least I think it was coke. It got really out of hand. They made me finger a dog. I teabagged an elderly lady in a bus stop. Eh, eh these things happen. The last thing I remember, I was stuffing a handful of mushrooms in my mouth. As you do. Go on. Next thing I know, I wake up there with a deer gnawing at my balls. It's a low point. Mmm. What, what's that perfume you're wearing? It smells cheap. I don't know. No, uh, wait. Shit, no. It was a stripper, I think. And a midget. Or a stripper midget. Oh, God! All the hallmarks of a class... What? That was entirely your fault! All you the bitch. hallmarks of a classic night out. I don't know what the problem is. I've really done it this time. How am I gonna be able to say these vows, man? Okay, that's the car I'm arriving in for the wedding. You jump in and wait while I get changed quickly. It's my father-in-law's. Miserable bastard. He loves this car more than he loves his own daughter. Oh, it's a miracle I'm helping you at all. When will I learn to leave a naked man on the side of the road? Okay, at least I look like I'm getting married now. 
I got a message from my best man saying he's in a restaurant out of town. If he's lost the wedding rings, I'm gonna call him. Come on, pick up. Who do you think it is? A so-called friend you tied to a pole in the middle of nowhere with no fucking clothes on? We don't have time for this now. Just tell me you have the rings. Unbelievable! One thing you haven't yet completely fucked up. Stay there, don't move, I'm on my way! The rest of this conversation is not exactly as funny, so I'm going to fast forward to where they pick up his friend. There's the prick there. Dude! Look who it is. The worst best man ever. Enjoy your seafood platter, asshole. You better still have those rings. Yeah, chill. They're in my pocket. Okay, let's go. We don't have much time. Dude, dude, hustle out. My head's in pieces. <laughs> what for the history books? Do you have any idea what you put me through? It's my wedding day, you dick. I could have died. It's a rite of passage, bro. <laughs> Keep telling the Greg kids about this. I told you it was a dumb idea to do it right before the wedding. What the? Uh, no, you lay this guilt trip on me about tradition. A couple of beers, you said. We did only have a couple of beers, man. It was all the other shit. You always have to take it too far. Why the fuck did you strip me? <laughs> you stripped yourself, man. You don't remember? What? Don't worry, it's all on film. You were totally strung out, embarrassingly so. Way into the dark side, man. The fear had you, dude. And that was the point you thought it was a good idea to drive me into the wilderness and tie me up by myself. I'm not entirely sure how all that panned out, to be honest. I was tripping balls after you fucked that tiny stripper. Okay, I don't want to hear any more. Let's just get to the church. Oh, man, so pissed off. Hurry, hurry. She's gonna be walking down the aisle. God, she looks pissed. Babe, I'm so sorry. Dude, keep the car. This marriage is only happening because of you. Holy fucking crickets, you finally decided to show up. So as long as we are married, I will never forget this. Babe, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Come I'm just... on. Yeah. This is why I never got married. Hey, this is actually a really super nice car. And you can park it in Franklin's garage if you have bought the garage in um, Los Santos. And yeah, this is a really nice car. Garth, Super Enos, or whatever it is. It's a really, really cool car. But if you found this video and you enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up button and, you know, feel free to leave a comment if you like this type of video. I make four a week, so hit the subscribe button and bell icon and you won't miss out. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And thanks for stopping by.